I'm attorney Nick Alcock. I'm a Phoenix attorney in Arizona and I handle injury cases. A lot of people want to handle their own accident injury cases and they want to negotiate with the, their insurance companies. And that's uh, totally legitimate, something that you absolutely can do on your own. There are some things you absolutely need to know before you start talking with any insurance company. The first is that your insurance uh, agent is not your attorney and the insurance company that you have is not necessarily always on your side. So if you're speaking with your agent, if you're speaking with your insurance company, be aware of the fact that anything you say could possibly be used against you to deny liability. And if you give a recorded statement to them, they're going to be looking at the exact words that you use. And if there is a way, even for your own insurance company, to deny a claim against you if you have uninsured or underinsured coverage, be aware of the fact that what you say can be used against you and they can deny your claim. When you get an accident, you need to identify all the parties involved. You need to make sure that you get their insurance information from all the parties and that you contact all of the insurance companies. A lot of people who are passengers in vehicles, what happens is, is that the, for whatever reason, the police officer doesn't write down in the accident report every single person who was involved. So the insurance company may not even know that you were injured in, in the accident. They may not even be aware of the fact that you've got a claim. So if you've been injured, uh, the first thing, and you want to handle the claim by yourself, make sure that you contact all of the insurance companies. Make sure that you make them aware that you have a claim against them. Uh, the other thing that you need to consider is that uh, once you're done treating, if you, you know, have medical bills, etc., let's say that you have private health insurance and they pick up the tab and then you start negotiating with the insurance companies and you start uh, coming up with a settlement. You have to be aware of the fact that uh, your medical coverage, your, your medical insurance, there may be a, a subrogation clause in there. It's a fancy word for saying that they can get money out of your settlement to reimburse the costs of your treatment. And it's something that you need to be aware of when you're negotiating. A lot of times people will negotiate a, a settlement thinking that they're going to get a whole bunch of money and then later they find out that actually their health insurance is going to get the lion's share of that money because they've got a subrogation clause. So you want to make absolutely certain that when you settle that case that you're taking into account the fact that anyone who's provided you medical care may have the right to get reimbursed and be very, very careful with that. The other issue is sometimes people, they sell a case before they know the, the true extent of their injuries. And that's a huge mistake because you don't sometimes know until months after an accident exactly how serious your injuries are, exactly how much ongoing treatment you're going to need. And as a rule of thumb, my advice is why not wait a little bit? You have a statute of limitations, which normally is two years. And I strongly suggest that you speak with an attorney before you just assume that it's two years. Normally it's two years, but there are a lot of exceptions to that rule. But in general, normally there is a certain amount of time for you to you know, finish your treatment and know exactly well what happened to you in this accident. So again, be careful with that, that you're not settling your case too quickly, that, uh, that you're taking into account the fact that those, those medical expenses can be taken out of the overall settlement. You don't necessarily have to have those uh, the providers take 100% of their medical bills and a lot of times uh, those medical providers will negotiate and you'll be able to reduce those medical expenses and reduce the lien is what it's called. Uh, be aware of that fact and don't just assume that if the doctor's bill is $20,000 that, that they would only be happy with $20,000. Many times we're able to cut those, those uh, medical liens in half or even more. So be aware of that fact as well. I know that handling your own case can be a little bit overwhelming and we're totally willing to sit down with you to speak with you over the phone and to help answer any questions that you have about how to handle your own case. There's no pressure, there's no high, sell, you know, high pressure sales pitches or anything like that. So just go ahead and give us a call at 602-989-5000 if you have any questions whatsoever about handling your own claim. I'm attorney Nick Alcock. Again, our number 602-989-5000 and thanks so much.